What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying your lives to the fullest today. Today it is an absolutely beautiful day. There is a little bit of a breeze. We got blue skies, which is why I am here to review the 2023 Ford F350 XLT. Huge thank you to Rob Harity over at Ted Britt Ford of Chantilly, Virginia for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular F350 or any Ford product, I'll be sure to have Rob's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. We have a lot to talk about in today's video, but first and foremost, we're gonna talk about the exterior and performance. But I guess before we get into that, I wanted to let you guys know that if this particular F350 does happen to sell by the time I post this video, don't fret because they pretty much have three uh, of these exact same specs on their lot. Again, I'll have their information in the description box down below. But again, let's jump right into the exterior and performance. So this particular F350 XLT has been painted in carbonized gray and I feel like many of you may know this uh, if you guys are watching this video but for 2023 the Super Duty did get an interior and an exterior refresh with different design cues throughout again the interior and the exterior but we're gonna start over here at our headlights so this particular f350 xlt has been optioned with the 2955 dollars sport appearance package and what that gives you guys are these led reflector headlights with automatic high beams you also do get led daytime running lights and uh side note to that is that these led daytime running lights are kind of like an ode back to like the 2019 model year with those c clamp headlights these are very similar but they do have an updated look to them and then also with the sport appearance package you guys do get led fog lights towards the bottom of your front bumper continuing on still talking about the sport appearance package you guys do get a satin black mesh like grill with some gray accent trim on the front end basically this whole piece right here that wraps through your headlights on the top of the grill again through these headlights and then on the bottom comes with the sport appearance package and then you guys also do get a body color front bumper and two black tow hooks also with the sport appearance package black tow hook right there and another one on this side obviously as well now one thing i wanted to mention is that if you guys so happen to option for the sport appearance package you must option for the 4150 dollars xlt premium package you have no choice ford makes you do that but what you guys also get with the xlt premium package is this forward facing camera located at the bottom of your ford logo which the ford logo is located at the center of the front grille but again you get the forward facing camera with the xlt premium package so again that forward facing camera works with your 360 degree view camera system that comes with the XLT premium package. Another package that this particular vehicle does have is the $495 FX4 off-road package. And basically what that gives you guys, at least up here, uh, include skid plates that cover your transfer case and your fuel tank. And then working our way down around the side also with the FX4 off-road package, you guys do get off-road tuned front and rear shocks, as well as a couple other things. But those are the things uh, at least notable up here at the front end of the Super Duty. Now. Last but not least, while we are at the front end, if you guys were wondering about the ground clearance, the ground clearance is 7.8 inches. You guys can see that valence up here at the front end does stick down quite far, and that is just to help with aerodynamics, which hopefully leads to better fuel economy. Um, but again, that is kind of what limit it, or limits your ground clearance here uh, on the Super Duty. Now, working our way down and around to our front wheel and tire setup. With the Sport Appearance Package, you guys get these 18-inch black wheels that are wrapped in 27570 Bridgestone Dueler all-terrain tires. Give you guys a view of the tread pattern on those tires as best that I can. That is what they look like. That is a look again at your front wheel setup. And then you guys can see those are your off-road tuned shocks right about there. And yeah, working our way down the side again with the sport appearance package. You guys also do get these black functional fender vents. So right here, they are functional again, and you can feel the heat dissipating out of the engine bay. You kind of have like a brushed aluminum uh, XLT lettering badge right there, but then the rest of this is all black. 
F350 lettering and numbering in satin black. Then uh, you kind of have like a gloss black backing plate behind that. Now working our way to these side view mirrors with the XLT premium package. You guys get these black mirrors with integrated turn signals. These side view mirrors are power folding. They are also heated. They are telescoping. You get LED spotlights, you get puddle lights, you get a blind spot system on the upper left hand side of your driver side mirror and then about right there on your passenger side mirror. And then last but not least, you also do get a camera system. So camera is located right here. Again, the camera works with your 360 degree view camera system that comes with the XLT premium package. You also get a spotlight right here to work with your zone lighting again that comes with the XLT premium package. And then about right here, you have your puddle light to illuminate about right here uh, when you're walking up to your vehicle at night. Now let's do a little side profile action of the Super Duty. I'm gonna have to step pretty far back because this is a pretty darn big vehicle. From the side profile, it looks very similar to the 2022 model year. However, that is different. You can see the taillights are a little bit different on the side profile as are the headlights up front and the fender vet. But other than that, the cab configuration looks you know, very, very similar to the 2022 model year. But working our way back to the side profile, you guys do get black window trim as well as body color door handles with keyless access. Keyless access comes with the XLT premium package. And then you also do get the updated 6.7 power stroke badging on your front two passenger doors. One thing that I did gloss over that I probably shouldn't have because this is a pretty big feature. And in my opinion, this is a mandatory feature if you guys are getting a 2,500 and up level truck. This particular one has the $95 cab lights, which you can see listed uh, on screen right now. Those are a must have option, at least for me, if I'm getting you know a 250 and on up vehicle. And then at the bottom of your passenger doors, these platform running boards do come again with uh, the sport appearance package. And you guys can see they actually have a nice grip to them. I'd say they're probably you know six inches wide, maybe eight inches wide. And they say Ford at the center. New for 2023, you get these bed steps directly off of a GMC Sierra and or a Chevy Silverado. Very similar to what GM did. It's like uh, Ford copied GM's homework. But again, that definitely makes it easier to grab something from the back rather than you know having to step on your wheel and tire. But opening your fuel door up, that's where you put your diesel. That's where you put your def. Um, but anyway, that is the law. This particular one with the XLT premium package, you guys get a rear window defroster. And then also with that package, you guys do get a bed camera. Your bed camera is located about right there. And then I think with the sport appearance package, you guys also do get LED box lighting. So you get two lights up top there and then you get a light over there and then a light right about there again with the sport appearance package. And I also do believe that the spray in bed liner comes standard with the Super Duty because I just did a video with an XL F350 the other day and it also had the spray in bed liner. Obviously with the FX4 off-road package, you get your FX4 decals on your bed sides and then working our way to the back end. It is also new uh, with the taillight design for 2023. And I'm not 100% sure because I don't know uh, my memory is not serving me totally properly correct whatever I was trying to say but uh, you also do get tailgate steps I believe these tailgate steps or not tailgate steps these bumper steps are new for 2023 to the super duty not a hundred percent sure on that you guys can correct me in the comments down below but I I'm pretty sure that those are new for 2023 but working our way to the center of the tailgate got your backup camera right there you get another little puddle light there got your ford logo and then you got your super duty embossed into the tailgate itself taking a step back with the sport appearance package you guys do get body color rear bumper and then also with the xlt premium package you guys get backup sensors for four total one two three four somebody gave me a little bit of junk the other day for counting out the uh sensors back here but i know some of you guys may be curious to know uh, how many there are and then also with the xlt premium package you guys get a remote release tailgate i got the key fob i believe in my pocket maybe not maybe it's still in the vehicle i guess it is still in the vehicle but anyway you have a button on the key fob and the tailgate will drop a couple more things again with the sport appearance package you guys get that led box lighting 
this particular one has been optioned with the 430 dollar 331 locking rear axle it is an electronic locking rear axle obviously and then if you guys were wondering about the max tow capacity i found a couple different things and i wasn't a hundred percent sure on the max tow capacity so i'm going to give you guys uh both numbers just so my number is not incorrect so it's either one of these two numbers uh because it goes off of the gcwr as well as what rear axle you have um, so with the 331 locking axle and the 6.75 foot bed, the max tow capacity is either 15,800 pounds or 22,000 pounds. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys know the exact max tow capacity uh, of this particular F350 with the power stroke. It's not the high output power stroke, uh, but it still is the power stroke. Let me know in the comments down below and I will pin your comment if you are correct. Let me know what you guys think of the 2023 F350 model year refresh. Do you guys like it? Do you guys prefer the 20 through the 2022 model year? Or do you guys like the new Super Duty uh, for the 2023 model year? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious to hear what you guys think, but let's move into performance. Pop and open that hood reveals that 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8. That is a $9,995 option. That motor makes 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in 6.8 seconds. One thing I wanted to say about this motor and this powertrain is that this motor works phenomenally well with the 10 speed automatic. Every time you switch gears, it's like it builds more and more power. It's really, really awesome. And the 10 speed just keeps this motor in its power band. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm on the road to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot get there without your guys' help. Also, if you guys are interested, I am doing an LS swap to a 1987 Ford F-150. So if that is something that you guys are interested in watching, hit that subscribe button. But let's move into the interior. Moving into the interior with the XLT premium package, you guys do get keyless access as well as remote start. So with the keyless access system, all you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock. You guys can also lock the vehicle by pressing the button right here and now the vehicle is locked. Another way you can get into the vehicle is by remembering your key code, type in your key code and that will unlock the vehicle. You can also lock the vehicle by pressing the seven, eight and nine oh buttons simultaneously and that will lock the vehicle and then also obviously you can get into the interior by pressing the unlock button on the key fob but again with the xlt premium package you get remote start so if you guys want to remote start the vehicle lock the vehicle press this button twice vehicle will fire up and that is what the power stroke sounds like when it fires up now it's taking a look at the interior i'm going to step in because of that wind uh, but taking a look at the driver's side door panel so the armrest is leather wrapped you can also get some accent colored stitching and it is nicely padded. And then from about right here to the top is all vinyl wrapped. You get some more accent colored stitching. You get like this like rusted steel looking trim. It actually looks really good in my personal opinion. And then you get your unlock and your lock buttons. This is to control your telescoping side view mirrors. So if I press this, you can see that is what I mean by telescoping. They go out and then pressing on this button right here and they will come back in. And that is the telescoping side view mirrors. These mirrors are also power folding with the XLT premium package. So if I press that button right there, the mirrors will power fold in, but I do have to turn the interior on in order to do that. Um, so now if I press this, the mirrors will power fold in. That is what they do. And then you get your uh, power adjustable side view mirror controls between this and these two buttons here. Press that again side view mirrors go back out. You get automatic up and down windows in the front, but you do not get automatic up or down windows in the back. You get a great spot, you can set a phone here, and then you get tons of miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of the door panel, just like any Ford product. And then also with the XLT premium package, you guys get the eight speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system, and that is what the Bang & Olufsen speaker surround looks like. Now, taking a look at the interior, you guys do get cloth seats with the XLT. These are called medium dark slate cloth seats. And then this particular one has also been optioned with the $300 seat console seat configuration. So you get a seat, you get the center console, and then you get the other seat. Otherwise, this would be like a bench seat kind of 
thing um, and you would not have the center console again this is a $300 option and I believe it is worth every single penny uh, I believe this is like a six-way power seat because you get your two-way lumbar then you go up down forward and backwards but you do get a manual recline so um, that is a look at the seat now let's step into the interior I'm gonna start down here and then I'll work my way into the passenger side and then into those rear seats so buckle up and uh, let's jump right into it so again with the XLT premium package you guys do get zone lighting so if I press that and I press that, that will turn the side view mirror spotlights on like I was mentioning earlier on in the video. And that is what the spotlight looks like. So it basically illuminates this whole area at night. That is a really, really cool feature. I'll get into the zone lighting as we move along into this video. I'm gonna turn both of those lights off. Pressing on that button twice will drop your tailgate. That will turn the LED box lighting on. You got your headlight controls, headlights off, parking lights on, headlights and automatic and then all the way down is headlights always on push that button that will turn the fog lights on or off that is to dim the gauge cluster that is to brighten the gauge cluster and then you have an electronic parking brake pull up on that you may be able to hear it uh, engage that will engage the parking brake if you guys want to disengage the electronic parking brake push your foot on the brake push on that and I'm not sure if the GoPro will pick it up but you guys could hear the parking brake disengage I'm gonna close the door and I'm gonna roll that window down, get a nice little cross flow going in here. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mess with the audio system. This is what the steering wheel looks like. But first, I wanna show you guys the turn signal stock and what the turn signal sounds like. That is what the turn signal sounds like in the 2023 Super Duty. It actually does sound a little bit different than the 2020 through 2022 model year. And then this is also your windshield wiper control stock and your high beam control stock, obviously. This is what your steering wheel looks like. It is a vinyl wrapped steering wheel. Um, we'll get into the controls here in a minute, but first I wanna take a listen to the horn. That is what the horn sounds like in the 2023 Super Duty. You still get a column mounted shifter, which is very nice. And I know a lot of you guys will appreciate the column mounted shifter. And then you guys can upshift and or downshift the transmission. This is to downshift. Pressing on this button will upshift. And then you got your cruise control settings on this side of the steering wheel. That is to mute the audio. So I can unmute the audio. I can mute the audio and then below that, that is to turn the volume down, volume up, and then that is to speak to the vehicle. And then on this side of the steering wheel, that is to pick up on a phone call as well as hang up on a phone call. And then that is to go back on a track. That is to go forward on a track on your Bluetooth audio. So watch what happens when I click this. Song will change. That is what I mean by going forward or backward on a track. And then that will switch between your different preset radio stations. And then these buttons here are to control the new for 2023, at least to the Super Duty, the 12 inch digital gauge cluster. So that is a look at the gauge cluster for the 2023 Super Duty. So just like in the new F-150s and stuff like that, um, now the Super Duty gets a digital gauge cluster. I'm gonna back up and kind of get out of the sun a little bit so we have a little bit better of a view of the gauge cluster. I'll probably go right here in the shade. This is a perfect spot. So now into the gauge cluster on the left-hand side of the gauge cluster, you have your RPM gauge. On the right-hand side, you have your speedometer. I love how you have your digital speedometer readout with that big zero. Obviously that will go up as the speed increases. On the lower left-hand side, you have your transmission status at the center. It lets you know what song is playing. And then over there you have your odometer. And then that's also letting me know that my seat belt is off off at the moment. That's letting me know that my headlights are in the always on position. If I go over here and I put them in automatic, then that green light up there goes away. And then up top here, you have your coolant temperature gauge. That is your oil pressure. That's your trans fluid uh, temperature. And then that is your fuel gauge as well as your fuel range. So we have 148 miles until empty. And then again, to control this screen, it's very, very easy. So don't be like uh, scared or not scared, but just like afraid of the screen. I, that's not a better word, but you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, you know what I'm saying. To control the screen, you have these buttons here so we can go in between our different screens. So if I press this, that will bring me into my main menu screen. I can go into my view, which you can go into your driver assist and stuff. You can go into your calm view, which basically displays nothing. You got your trip one, your fuel economy, tire pressure stuff, and you can also configure the my view. Um, so you can turn the calm view off. 
you can turn the column view on, you can remove the screen, you can add the screen, which now you added a blank screen. You can basically, you know what I'm talking about. You can adjust this screen pretty much exactly as you want to, at least in the my view portion. Go down one, this will bring you into your different trip slash fuel. So get your trip one, trip two, and fuel economy. If I click on fuel economy, it will bring me into this screen right here. You can go up, that's trip two, and then that is trip one. Back, back out of that, you can go in between your different gauges. So you can go into general measurements, which basically brings you into to these different things you can see your trans temp turbo boost exhaust stuff def auxiliary gauges and your diesel gauges we'll go back back and then you can go into your off-road stuff this does have the fx4 off-road package so you can go into your off-road status you can either see that or you can go into your pitch and roll back back out of that i think there is one more thing you, oh i guess those are the only two things go down more get your towing information you can go in between your different status you can go into your navigation stuff so basically you can go uh, click it to previous destinations you can bring it to my home and then it will navigate you uh, home through the infotainment system you get your phone stuff up here you can go in between your different audio stuff fm am xm etc vehicle maintenance stuff it'll let you know what you need oil life 100% uh, 55 miles till you got to fill up with def uh, etc etc go down you can go in between your different settings um, I could spend a little bit more time on this gauge cluster but I think you guys kind of get the gist uh, of what uh, you can see on your gauge cluster it's very configurable you can see all the information that you want to see it is a very very useful and easy to use screen which i appreciate and the word i was looking for is don't be intimidated not scared but intimidated it is very uh easy to use but up top here not only do you have your banging off some speakers around you also have a spot up here you can set a tape measure um stuff like that of that size you get a little bit of storage you can also set your phone up top here as well uh, but moving on our way down this is your exhaust brake you can turn the exhaust brake on press it again go to automatic and then press that one more time and that will turn the exhaust brake right back off this will pop up your 360 degree view camera system and that is my forward facing camera system when i throw it into reverse that will pop up my rear view camera which by the way uh the clarity is fantastic on it you get your guidance lines and then you have that guidance line at the center if you guys are backing up to a trailer one thing that's nice about the camera screen is that you can go in between your different views so you can go into your bed view which honestly on a lot of like uh, the F-150s, the uh, camera for the bed has not been um, really on any new F-150s. Reason being is the chip shortage, but it is here at least on the um, Super Duty. So you got all these different views here, um, tons of different things that you guys can do with the camera views. If you guys wanna exit out of that screen, just click the camera button again and that will exit you out. This is your hazard button up top here. And then over here, traction control on or off. And then with the FX4 off-road package, you guys do get hill descent control. And this is your hill descent control on or off button right there. Click that again, and that turns the hill descent control right back off. Moving down just a tad, you may be able to know that this is the 12-inch SYNC 4 infotainment system with built-in navigation as well as wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto connectivity. This screen, just like the gauge cluster, is very, very intuitive and it is very easy to use as well. You get all your different shortcut buttons at the bottom of your screen. You get your audio stuff, CarPlay stuff, navigation, favorites. You can go between your apps, settings, and your different features. And then you have like a split screen over here, but uh, Ford just sent out like an over the year update probably like a month or so ago now so now you can do the full screen apple carplay by pressing on that button right there and then that will take up the entire screen which is very very nice click that button again if you don't want the full screen then you get the split screen set up with like the ford apps on the right hand side of the screen so you can go between your different navigation stuff you can go between your different phone stuff trip one fuel economy uh off-road stuff go down one more it's lagging a little bit you can go into your zone lighting bed camera and then there's one more thing uh basically like music stuff but back into this screen this is like your audio screen for the ford system that's a carplay screen this is what the built-in navigation screen looks like and you can go between your different favorites this is one favorite screen this is another favorite screen i wanted to show you guys the zone lighting stuff so if I click that, now zone lighting is the uh, thing down here. I'm gonna turn all the zones on by pressing on that, all zones. Now all the zones are on. And if you guys live in the country, this is actually a very, very useful feature. Personally, I used to think that this was a gimmick, but in all actuality, it's actually very, very useful. So what it does is it's turning now all the headlights are on, the fog lights are on, 
your spotlight right here is on, as is your puddle light down here, working our way. Your bed lighting is all on, so those lights up top there, again, are LED. These lights are on as well, that one there, and then all the way at the back, you got your reverse lights on, both of them, and then you also have this light right here on as well. And then last but not least, your license plate lights also turn on. Again, this is with all zones on. It is a very, very useful system. Um, and again, I thought it was a gimmick, but uh, I haven't tested it out like at night, but seeing it here in the daytime, I could actually see how a lot of people would get a lot of use out of the zone lighting system. You can go between your different apps, basically the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto stuff. And then these are your different settings. This is one one setting screen this is the second setting screen one thing I wanted to show you guys um, in here I wanted to show you guys the driver assistance stuff so now uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> it's just doing that kind of stuff but uh, you can go over to here go into your driver assistance stuff oh yeah yeah I'm messing with it a little bit but this is one of your driver assistance screens you can scroll down a bit more Basically, uh, you guys can see you got your cross traffic alert, reverse automatic braking, uh, blind spot system, uh, pre collision assist, etc. So, quite a few um, safety features, especially because they're you know, this is a heavy duty truck, this isn't like an F 150, and this is also an XLT, so this isn't like a limited with the limited, you get pretty much every single driver assistance feature you can think of. But really, with the XLT has everything that you need and nothing that you don't push button start integrated trailer brake controller coming down just a tad you got your two high four high that's to turn your uh, electronic locking axle on or off and then you can go into four wheel drive low and then you have your different drive modes so this is your drive mode selector i think you have like seven drive modes i'm not 100 percent sure on that oh no you don't you have five so you got your eco mode you have your tow haul mode, you got your normal mode, then you have your slippery mode, and then all the way is off-road mode. Um, I'm just going to leave it in normal mode because I'm not going to be doing any sort of off-roading or any slippery road driving. Uh, but coming down a bit under the infotainment screen, got your volume knob, you got your tuning knob. I believe this will bring you into your tone settings. Yep, it does. Um, so you can adjust that kind of stuff. This will switch you between AM, FM, XM. So this is your different sources. And then press on this button, we'll turn the screen to a clock. Press that button again and that will turn the screen off. Touch anywhere on the screen and the screen will turn back on. That is to go back on a track. That is to go forward on a track and then that is to play or pause on a track. You get single zone climate with the XLT and that is what the climate control system looks like. With the XLT premium package, you guys get heated front seats both with three levels of adjustability. Um, and then over here, you get a 12 volt power outlet and then you guys have a 400 watt household power outlet just beneath that. And then coming down just a tad bit more, get a USB-A port and a USB-C port as well as a great spot you guys could set your phone down in there. One thing that is also a great spot you can set your phone as well is you can set your phone right here. That is a great spot. You could set it either vertically or horizontally, but that is a great spot to set your phone. One thing that's kind of cool about the Fords uh, and the Super Duties in particular is that you can have either four cup holders or you can have two cup holders and you can set your phone in here if you wanted to as well. So again, that's two cup holders, slide this over and now you have four cup holders. Uh, that is just a nice little feature. It's not necessary, but it's pretty cool. And then it says F series down in here. Uh, and I believe if you're, uh, no, that's not the spot. I was thinking of another spot, but anyways, um, that is what that looks like. And now I have four cup holders again. I'm gonna set my cup back down in there as well as my pen. And then uh, I'm gonna work my way down just a tad. You get a quite a bit of storage space down in here. Like you can fit what you need to, um, you know, stuff like a tape measure again down in here. Uh, maybe some papers, a notepad, stuff like that. So basically my whole hand fits down in there. I'll show you guys, this is an iPhone 14 Pro Max for size reference and that fits down in there. You guys can see like, the space left over with that phone in there. I thought I'd kind of give you guys a little something for size reference. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys appreciated that, if you guys are actually watching this video. You get a nicely padded and leather wrapped armrest with some accent colored stitching. Opening this up, you get a divider here. I believe my phone can fit there as well. 
yep, iPhone 14 Pro Max will fit in that divider. I can take that divider out, and then you get two more USB-C ports down in here, as well as a halogen light. One thing for those of you guys who are business owners, maybe you own a contracting business or you know an HVAC business, and this is your daily driver, you can set your business cards right here. Very, very nice place to do that. And then closing this, one thing I didn't mention is that this is a locking center fold down armrest. So you can put your pew pews down in there if you wanted to. You get two cup holders right here. You get an upper glove box, which uh, one thing that some guy pointed out to me in my video, uh, or not, it was a video with the F-150 XL XTX. Um, you do not get a upper glove box with that. I mean, you do, but it doesn't have a door on it. But the XLT Super Duty does. You can see Super Duty stamped into the silver trim here on the dash. You get a lockable lower glove box. This is all just a plastic. Again, it's lockable but then opening that up, you get a good amount of storage space down in there. You can fit your owner's manual, napkins, straws, some snacks, uh, maybe like a phone charger, something like that. Um, you can fit what you need to down in there and a little bit more. And then right there, you can stick your key in there, twist it to the left, and you can turn the passenger airbag off, and then you can turn it back on again. Over here, driver gets an Opu handle. Over there, the front passenger gets an Opu panel. That's your tweeter for your Bang & Olufsen sound system. Obviously, you get another tweeter about right there, working our way up. You get an auto dimming rear view mirror. This is where it lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off again, about right there. Then you get a driver light by pressing on that. You get a passenger light. Both of those are LED. You can see how that's lit up in amber. So when I open up the door, the interior lights do not turn on. If I press that button again, that will light up back in blue. So now when I open up the doors, the interior lights do turn on. So you can see uh, that is the button to do that. And then that will just instantly turn on all the interior dome lights. Press that again and they all turn back off. This particular Super Duty or F350 XLT has been optioned with the $1,495 panoramic moonroof. Uh, and to open that up, you can either open up the shade by the push of this button, and then the shade opens up on its own. The sunroof does not open up. But if you guys want to open up the sunroof, you can press that button, and now the sunroof will open up and it'll slide like a sunroof does. You can also vent the sunroof or tilt it like that. Wait for the sunroof to close. Press right there and now it is venting and you can see it's tilted. Press that button again and that will close the sunroof. You also got a great spot. You can set some sunglasses up top here. And then this particular F350 has also been optioned with the $165 auxiliary switches. So basically you guys get six auxiliary switches. Boom, 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 boom. And when you turn them on, let's say you're turning on your light bar and your light bar is auxiliary three. You can see it lights up in amber, whereas all the other ones are in blue. So when the uh, things are off, they're in blue. When you turn them on, they're in amber. You can see that? Very, very nice. You get your visor right here. You get a vanity mirror, which normally on a truck like this, you actually, on that's on the XL, excuse me, not the XLT. With the XLT, you get a vanity mirror, but you do not get vanity lights. You get a spot right here. You can set money, registration, or any small paper product. Opening this one up, you get the same thing. You get a vanity mirror, but no vanity lights. And then these things slide forwards and backwards. Very, very nice. Got a spot for your Bluetooth mic pickup for your Bluetooth phone. And then a couple other things I wanted to mention. Um, bear with me here for a second. I have to pull up the window sticker. Um, but a couple things I thought I would mention uh, is that with the XLT premium package, which includes a couple things. New for 2023 with that package, you get the 12 inch digital gauge cluster, which is new to the Super Duties for the 2023 model year. You also get the 12 inch Sync 4 system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto connectivity, also included in that package. Eight speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system, heated front seats, remote start, the 360 degree view camera system, the intelligent access, which is keyless access, the blind spot monitoring system, and the backup sensors. Um, now I'm gonna pull up the window sticker for you guys to take a look at. Now that the window sticker is on screen, you guys can take a look at all the different optional stuff that this particular 350 has on it, as well as everything that comes standard. But basically I'm just gonna highlight the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Ford F350 XLT is spec'd is 77,000. 
$595. Let me know what you guys think of that price in the comment section down below. Just keep in mind, you guys can shave off about $10,000 if you guys do not get the 6.7 diesel. Um, and then another $3,000 if you guys want to get the 6.7 high output. So thought I'd mention that show you guys what's going on in these rear seats before we get into the driving portion of the review i love the carbonized gray especially in the direct sunlight it looks really really sweet and then taking a look at the rear door panel uh, from about here up is like that dark slate vinyl wrapping you get some accent colored stitching you get some more of that like metal look trim it looks sweet and then you get a nicely padded and leather wrapped armrest with some accent colored stitching again you do not get an automatic up or down rear window and then you got a spot you can set a deer park water bottle right there got a great spot you can set a phone down in here good amount of miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of the door panel another spot you can set a small water bottle that's your banging offs and speaker surround i believe with the fx4 off-road package or the sport appearance package i can't remember which package uh, but you guys do get this lockable storage uh, right back here i can't remember which package that comes with it's either the sport appearance or the fx4 off-road i'll put it on screen so you guys can decipher which one it is but stepping on in to these rear seats you get an o poop handle you get a spot you can set your dry cleaning and a dome light you get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat you also get a seat back pocket over there behind the passenger seat you get two cup holders coming down just a tad two hvac vents two usb-c ports then opening this up you get a 12 volt power outlet and then to the right of that you have a 400 watt household power outlet same thing goes for the passengers side as well as you may be able to tell you get no center fold down armrest if you guys want the center fold down armrest you are gonna have to get the lariat but you know uh one more thing before i i'm getting ahead of myself but look at all the leg room i have i mean that is a ton of leg room that is a ton of knee room and i also have a ton of headroom left i am five foot nine so i'm not the tallest person in the world but i have a ton of space back here to be comfortable on a very long road trip but you know we've talked about the exterior we've talked about the performance and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior so i want to see what this thing's like to drive as i'm assuming you guys do as well so I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, and now on to the driving portion of the review. And the best way that I can describe driving the Super Duty is like driving in sport mode. This thing has so much power. It's honestly insane. I mean, this isn't even the high output version. And this thing just absolutely hauls. I mean, it really, really hauls. Even when you're not trying to get on it, it just moves. And I love that. And that is something that I really, really appreciate on pretty much all vehicles that I drive. I love a vehicle that just gets up and it goes and it can get out of its own way, no problem without having to wind it up. You know, you really don't have to wind this engine up because at 2000 RPM, this thing is making so much torque. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, and then also, this motor in collaboration with the 10 speed i mean it's like they get each other so so well it's like they get along so well and it's just the way that they work together is just phenomenal i mean they work so so well together i feel like if you were pulling a very very heavy trailer like a big boat you would have absolutely no problem towing that boat because the 10 speed just keeps this motor in its power band i mean it really really does um and it just it gets up and it goes so so well i mean obviously right now we're unloaded but i mean i think even pulling like you know a 5 10 11 12 13 thousand pound trailer i think this thing would have no problem doing it um just because this thing's just got gobs and gobs of power and if this thing is doesn't have enough power and torque for you you guys can now option for the high output six seven which i can't even imagine what that feels like to drive i mean that just must be insane um but that is again i think that's like a twelve thousand four hundred and ninety five dollar option not a hundred percent sure on the price of that but i know it is like twelve thousand and something but i'm gonna give it a little gas for you guys Listen to how the 10 speed just that's what's so great about the 10 speed. It doesn't matter if it's matched to like a 5.0 in the F-150 or an EcoBoost in the F-150. It just boom, boom, booms it right back into its power band. And that's why I believe um, Fords have just so much power because they really know how to tune their motors very nicely with 
the 10 speed automatics now this is something where i got to give gm a little bit of crap because i mean they just released their new 2024 high heavy duties and they don't even have a thousand foot pounds of torque i know it probably doesn't matter um you know with i think it's got like 950 pound feet of torque but just give me the number just give me the thousand pound feet of torque number that's all i'm asking for and i'm sure that's all a lot of other people are asking for and honestly obviously we know that Fords have class leading power and I believe also class leading payload uh, and towing capacity. I'm not 100% sure on that aspect of things, but I do know they have tons of power. Watch this, barely getting on it. I mean, it just, it's 10 miles an hour, like nothing. And that's, I'm not even anywhere near being floored in this thing. I mean, this thing's just got so much torque, so much power. It's just honestly almost insane. Uh, I'll do another little acceleration here once we turn uh, at this stop or not stop sign but once we turn right here I'm gonna get on it a little bit for you guys from you know a, a low speed just to show you guys how insane this thing is so let me get straightened out here I mean it's just insane it sounds so good the shifts are you, you can't even feel the shifts um, but it just it just bump, 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 but it just keeps it right where it needs to be. And it's just really the six, seven married to the 10 speed work so well together. I almost feel like I driven a 2022, but I don't remember it being so smooth. Like, I mean, it, it's like buttery smooth between shifts and it just keeps building power and building speed as you get faster. I mean, it's just, it's awesome and uh, obviously you know this thing rides like a heavy duty truck it is a little bit bouncy but in my opinion i think this is probably the most comfortable hd truck that you guys are going to find on the market whether it be seat comfort wise and ride wise um you know it's a ford come on one more gas it's so powerful it's insane i mean it's i'm having so much fun driving this thing and i can't believe i'm saying that behind the wheel of a heavy duty truck i mean it is literally fun to drive and <laughs> That's just funny because it doesn't even have a sport mode, you know, and I'm having a lot of fun driving it. But the eight speaker banging off some sound system sounds very, very good. I have no complaints when it comes to that sound system. Um, the way that this thing drives, I feel like it drives better than the 2022 model year. That could be placebo, but I just feel like the steering is a lot more direct than the 2022 model year. That uh, again, it could be placebo, but I really do think that it feels a lot better. Uh, for some reason, it's just a lot more direct there's not as much wander in the steering I feel as the 2022 uh, but again that could just be me being crazy but it's just it's what I feel you know uh, I'm just giving you guys my driving impressions but overall I think this thing drives phenomenally well I think the speakers sound great um, overall it's just a great driving experience you know I've got no complaints really I feel like I might like the look of like the 2022 model a little bit better um, but I think as time goes on uh, I think this is really gonna grow on me because it does look really really good and it's just it's too good of a truck to pass up just because you don't like the looks and I'm not saying I don't like the looks um, but I definitely think I like the 2022 style better. I think I just went down a dead end road and uh, I didn't realize that but overall this thing drives very very well um, and it's gonna it's gonna tow very well as well I can just tell but uh, you can have a lot of fun driving this thing which is funny to say about a heavy-duty truck but you know overall man this is a great great truck for those of you guys who really need it if you guys don't need the diesel the 7.3 which is now the standard motor on the XLT and up is a great motor in and of itself it's going to be cheaper to maintain it's going to be cheaper to fill up with fuel because obviously we know that gas is cheaper than diesel now um, and then also just maintenance wise the gas is going to be a little bit cheaper but if you guys need a diesel man this thing has gobs of torque it's got gobs of power um, and honestly the XLT is all you really need unless you really just want something that's a little bit fancy you know if you want a fancy truck you could step up to the lariat that's really all you need but if you want like really 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 fancy stuff um, and you want to flex a little bit then you're going to get a platinum or a limited but really the xlt is all you need with the xlt premium package personally i'd probably get the maybe i'd probably get the lariat just because it has leather but i would get it with the tremor because the tremor looks great i think it looks great with the wheel and tire setup but again 
that's it for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button like i mentioned to you guys i am now on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and i cannot get there without your guys itself also, a couple other things with the channel is that I am doing an LS swap to a 1987 Ford F-150. So if you guys want to see a build series on that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up again if you guys did enjoy and take anything out of this video. But again, that's it for today's video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.